Subaru is all about delivering trustworthy everyday companions. They offer practical crossovers, comfortable sedans, fun sports cars, and all-wheel drive confidence in any weather. Their sales numbers have been on the steady rise, and there is no slowing down in sight. For one thing, Americans love their Subarus and seem to be buying them in bulk. In this episode, we'll be exploring the entire lineup of the Japanese brand, what's new, what's hot and what's not in the upcoming roster. Let's cover it all! Before we get to the episode though, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell to get alerted about the new video digest, and let's start the engines! Subaru Outback In 2020, this unique wagon-like crossover follows in the footsteps of its closest Subaru sibling, the Legacy, getting a generation overhaul. Just as the sedan, the Outback now sits on the SGP architecture, gains a new engine option, and comes wearing refreshed exterior styling and packing new cabin tech. It is safe to say that the newcomer becomes better looking and more aggressive on the outside, thanks to wider fenders, a new front grille, sharper headlights, and vertical LED fog lights. For the first time since 2009, this crossover gets a turbocharged engine that replaces the last year's 3.6-liter flat 6. This 2.4-liter unit outputs 260 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque, while the standard 2.5-liter naturally aspirated mill nets 182 HP and 176 pound-feet. In addition, the 2020 model arrives with a new trim option called the Onyx Edition XT, which adds blacked-out exterior accents and new StarTax neoprene upholstery. Subaru WRX STI S209 The S versions of Subaru's four-door sports car have been limited to the Japanese market, but for the 2020 model here, a limited run of 209 units is heading to the US. This WRX gets equipped with a refined 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder Subaru Boxer that produces 341 horsepower compared to the standard WRX STI's 310, and of course, it is coupled with a six-speed manual. The vehicle has aggressive new look with its white fenders, front canards, rear wing, and it sits on 19-inch BBS wheels that come with a set of bespoke Dunlop tires. Furthermore, the special edition also gets upgraded suspension, Brembo brakes, and structural improvements for better handling and aerodynamics. The car could be had in two color options, crystal white pearl with gold wheels and world rally blue with gray ones. Sadly, the price of this performance sedan is shockingly high – $64,000 plus $885 destination fee, which is a $27,000 premium over the usual STI. Subaru Legacy On the market since 1989, the Legacy sedan has gone over a few transformations over the years, starting its life as a compact car and growing to a mid size model in 1985. This year, it is entering its seventh generation all new. Thanks to being built on Subaru's global platform, the car becomes safer and quieter, offers more passenger space, and has improved handling due to the lowered gravity center. The model features two drivetrain options a 2.5 liter direct injection boxer engine netting 182 HP and 176 pound feet, and a new 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder with 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet that is standard on the Limited XT and Touring XT trims. Regardless of the engine choice, the power is channeled through a Linetronic CVT to all four wheels via Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive with active torque factoring. Subaru Visif Adrenaline If you're one of those Subaru fans who love their cars but wish they simply looked better, then check out the Visif Adrenaline concept. It previews the evolution of the dynamic by solid design language of the entire brand, which has existed since 2014. The new exterior philosophy is called Boulder, which combines more aggressive elements with sharp lines and supposedly expresses the passion that inspires people to try something that has never been tried before. This thing is characterized by off-road ruggedness, noticeable and erased clearance, wide wheel arches, and plenty of protection. Visually, this concept reminds us of the compact crossover Crosstrack, but there is no data whether this is a new generation of the model or a separate future addition to the lineup. Subaru Impreza 
Three years have passed since the global debut of the fifth generation Impreza, so Subaru decided to bring to us a slightly refreshed version of the model in 2020. Both the hatchback and the sedan receive small exterior changes, but offer more standard equipment and improved multimedia system. The new cars can be distinguished by a narrowed grille and a revised front bumper, plus the five doors additionally have their taillights refined. The updated Starlink infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto comes standard on all models. However, the biggest change for the 2020 is the addition of the standard Subaru's iSight driver assist package for all CVT-equipped Imprezas. The other gearbox option is a 5-speed manual, but it is only available on the base trims and sports sedan. This video is a part of the annual review of full lineups by automakers from around the globe. Make sure to check out the entire playlist by following the links in the description and information cards. Time to like this video and let's keep going! Subaru Forester In 2020, this practical crossover arrives with a few aces up its sleeve but gets a $200 price increase. The Forester now offers Subaru's iSight driver assist as standard on all models. Therefore, apart from the last year's pre-collision alert, automatic braking, adaptive cruise control and steering intervention, the entry-level Forester adds lane centering function and new lane departure prevention. Having changed the generation not so long ago, the Forester remains loyal to its recognizable style with boxy shapes and characteristic long hood. Regardless of the trim level, the cap and boasts of base cloth upholstery and a 6.5 or 8-inch infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Despite previous rumors, all Foresters get only one engine option, a well-proven 2.5-liter flat 4 producing 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque. Subaru BRZ With its entry-level premium trim discontinued, Subaru's only sports coupe arrives in 2020 in just two guises, Limited and TS, which returns to the American market after a year-long absence. The former carries a $29,000 price tag and comes featuring a sport-tuned suspension, Alcantara and leather upholstery, dual-zone climate control, and Subaru Starlink Multimedia. However, if you manage to snatch one of the 300 available TS units, your BRZ will be getting an SDA-tuned suspension, Zax shocks, standard Brembo braking equipment, and 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped in Michelin Sport tires. When it comes to engine options, there are no differences between the two modifications, as both come powered by a 2-liter Subaru Boxer with 205 horses, a 6-speed manual gearbox, and rear-wheel drive. We should also note that on the limited trim, there is an automatic option available. Subaru Levorg The sporty station wagon Levorg is the Japan-only model that Subaru has been selling on the islands for six years now, and it's getting ready to enter its second generation. The pre-production prototype was presented at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. The exterior differences of the newcomer are hard to spot, but supposedly the design is bolder. The upcoming Levorg rides on the latest generation Subaru Global architecture that already underpins sedans and crossovers from the brand. The confirmed engine is the 1.8-liter horizontally opposed direct-injected turbo gasoline with lean burn technology to balance performance and eco-friendliness. The wagon gets the new generation iSight suite, high-def map and vehicle locator, and for the first time in Subaru for Japan market, the connected safety services that send automatic alerts about collisions to authorities and rescue services. Subaru Ascent Introduced just two years ago, the largest vehicle currently manufactured by Subaru continues to be available in four trims and either seven- or eight-seat cabin layouts. The car keeps its 2019 base price but adds eyesight package of driver assists and a new rear seat reminder alert that is developed to prevent the driver from forgetting a child or a pet in the vehicle. As before, the Ascent feels outdoorsy and very practical, with 152 cubic feet of passenger space, 8.7 inches of ground clearance, and plenty of room for your cargo thanks to 60-40 split flat folding seats in both rows. 
Android Hood hides a 260 horsepower 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder that is paired with a CVT and super symmetrical all wheel drive with X mode and hill descent control. Subaru Cross Track the subcompact crossover is based on the Impreza hatchback and is the only vehicle in the brand's lineup that is available with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. It has roomy interior and rugged exterior, is quite capable off-road, utilizing the company's signature symmetrical all-wheel drive, and gets a rich set of safety and driver assistance features as a part of the iSight package. The standard 2.0-liter four-cylinder boxer engine delivers 152 HP and can be coupled with a six-speed manual gearbox or two variations of Subi's Lineatronic CVT, resulting in the combined fuel economy of 26 or 30 mpg. In the hybrid model, the e-boxer drivetrain pairs the 2-liter inline-4 with the permanent magnet AC motor and the continuously variable transmission, returning 148 horsepower, 90 mpg or 35 miles per gallon in the hybrid cycle. How do you like them Subarus? Are these the best cars for the suburbs? And what is your favorite model from the 2020 lineup? Make sure to share your preferences in the comment section. Watch the entire playlist by following the links in front of you, leave a like, share and come back for more informative content shortly.